Hello, my name is G.W. Trotter. Most people call me G. Some people call me some other things. Today I'll be providing an educational video about what happens to your little altimeter when you bring it in for the two year bench test. I will be the narrator. This is one of our avionic benches that we have. We purchase closed avionics instrument shops and technical libraries. We don't return to service any instruments or avionics anymore. We can barely see the parts at our age. All of this stuff is for sale. And we have other stuff. If you have an avionics shop for sale, please give us an email. About the test equipment that we're using, we're using a digital barometer by Cetra. It's a transducer that functions as a digital barometer. The standard is a mercury barometer. The next closest is a Cetra type instrument, which is a digital barometer. And the third is a master altimeter, all referenced back to the mercury barometer. This is the altimeter we're going to be testing, the white one in the middle there. That's a master altimeter. This is the pedostatic pressure and vacuum test box that we're going to use. It's about 80 years old. It was introduced in the 40s. And uh, it's quiet, doesn't have an electric motor in it, got hand pumps. And as long as we're just running one or two instruments up and down, this works fine. There are many pedostatic test boxes on the market. Most are electrical, making electrical noise in the background. They're all controlled by the little valves, the needle valves that you see in the middle there. The left is a pressure pump, the right is a vacuum pump. The setter will be our master. So we're going to reference this white altimeter to. Our field elevation is 640 feet. There's high pressure in the area, so we're going to pump it down to zero to start this test. As you can see, there's no error. Now we're going to go to negative 1,000. Negative 1,000, we're seeing um, negative 15. We're going to record those two. And we're going to move it to 500. Typically in these tests, we wait one minute at each setting. In this case, we're testing this white altimeter to see if it basically functions. We see negative five. We're going to move it to a thousand. At 1,000 feet, we're showing zero, I mean negative five. And we're gonna move to 1,500. We 
We're going to do the friction test as we're going up. We're going to do the altimeter accuracy test and the friction test as we're going up. We're going to do the hysteresis test and the after effect test as we're coming down. We saw 20 friction. Negative 10. Now we're going to move to 2000. We saw 20 friction again. And it's showing negative 15. We're going to move to 3,000. We saw 20 friction again. Show a negative 10. We're going to move to 4,000. We saw 30 friction and plus 10. We're going to move to 6,000 now. So 15 on the friction. Zero on the scale error. We're going to move to 8,000. So 10 on the friction. And we're showing a negative 10. We're going to move to 10,000. So 20 on the friction.
Well, I'm showing a negative 25. Move to 12. So 10 on the friction. I'm showing negative 50 on the scale there. Heading to 14,000. So 40 on the friction. Scale error of negative 50. Heading to 6,000. Six, heading to 16,000. So 30 on the friction, negative 70 on the scale error. Heading to 18,000. So 20 on the friction. Negative 90 on the scale there. Everything's passing thus far. So 40 on the friction. Negative 105 on the scale error. On 22,000. So 50 on the friction. Twenty-two thousand was showing. 110, negative 110 scale error, it's going to 25. So 
uh, 40 on the friction. Negative 105 on the scale error. Going to 30. As you can see this mass trail timber is quite smooth. Many of them are jumpy. So 40 on the friction, negative 100 on the scale error. Going to 35. So 40 on the friction again, negative 15 on the scale error. Next is the hysteresis test. We're in a bit of a low pressure this morning. You see the unit reading 860 feet. The barrel scale has now been twisted to 30.99 feet, and you see it reading 1,840 feet, which that's right where it's supposed to be. Now we're going to go to the other end. Now we have the barrel scale twisted to the opposite end of the scale, and as you can see, starting at 860 feet, it's negative 1,720 feet from where we started. So this unit has passed all of its tests. The position error test, that's the easiest one of all. We rotate it 90, 180, 270. You see it at zero. Rotate it at 90. It's showing negative five. Put it inverted. It's showing negative 20. 270, negative 5 again, and back to where we started. Be surprised, a lot of these things climb 70 feet when you turn left and dive 70 feet when you turn to the right. Uh, again, this unit is passing all tests. So all that checks out pretty good for this. It's a master altimeter. It's not a flight altimeter. The increments are in 10 on this dial instead of 20 and has a white face. We just gave it the two-year altimeter accuracy test and functionality test as required by 91.411. This piece of paper will go on file at the repair station. Some of the repair stations will give the pilot owner uh, altimeter correction card. Some will not. It's not required. Um, that's the end of the test. Thank you for looking.